Hi everybody, how's everybody doing today? Um, I hope well. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing fantastic. Um, it's been a little bit since I've worked on this one and so um, please disregard, first of all, the lag between my voice and the my movement. Um, it is the way that I'm recording this so that I can get the multiple screen down there in the left corner so that you can see what I am um, marking off as I do it. And I actually need to fix this, I think. Is it this one? No. It's this one. And then I need to... Yeah, right? Nope. Where is it at? Oh, I need to unlock it. And then just a tad. There we go. And then... All right. Sorry. <laughs> I had things that I needed to adjust. So, um, so the last time that we worked on this, I think we were up right around in this area here. Um, I wound up. Uh, off camera finishing up so this section here that you see this big section that is was all of page one of the PDF file um, so now this section over here is page two of the PDF file so, um, and as you can see, I've done a little bit on that. Um, I've been working on this like the last couple of days. And honestly, um, it might take me some time to finish this because one, I have other projects going on, but two, the more important thing is that um, I, uh, there's one color that I don't have enough of. Um, so I'll either need to find a substitute or I'll need to order more of it one of the two, um, but I can continue for now um, until, um, pretty much until I get down here um, at this bottom stage, um, that big flower that's right there um, is probably the one where I'll run out of the color I need. It's one of the yellows. Um, so, um, but it'll be some time before I get down there, so I, I might wind up purchasing some. I might have a similar color that I can um, put together and make it work, but we'll see. But as you can see, this is, and if you're, if you're new to watching this particular um, diamond painting, it is a cross-stitch pattern. Um, the image, which you see in the bottom right hand corner, I got um, off of Pixabay. It's a free image. It is um, Pomelia's flowers. Um, the link will be down below. It is a free pattern. It's an AI pattern or picture, free picture, AI picture. But the link will be down below. Um, and then um, what I did was I took that image and I put it into um, pixel stitch and converted it into a cross stitch pattern. Um, with that, uh, I then um, planned out the size to be this 30 by 40 so that, and I have 35 colors to do it as a diamond painting. Um, I am using, obviously, you can see right here, I'm using a blank canvas. I am doing this in rounds, which makes that a little bit more muted than the picture because you can see the uh, white background behind the drills. But in all reality, I kind of like it. Um, I'm not hating it. What it reminds me of is like um, old, uh, like an old faded poster. So I'm actually really liking it. Now this canvas does have um, guide circles on it, so um, and I see them throughout this whole canvas. So if that bothers you, um, you might not want to 
do rounds. Um, you might want to do squares. And um, yeah, so that's where we're at now. So I figured um, we'll work on this square that you see down in my uh, left hand corner. We're going to work on, on, it's a 10 by 10 drill um, grid. So we'll work on that and if um, if it doesn't go too long, then I might do the, the next one over here. So let me get my screen set up so that um, I can actively work on this um, over in the left hand corner. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Um, it is a little bit blurry, like I said, with the way that I'm recording this in order to allow you guys to see. Um, I have to kind of record it through multiple programs and it does create a little bit of a, um, a lag and the picture quality isn't as good. I'm going to work on fixing that for maybe if I do this again, this style again. I might not, um, at least with the dual screen. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But for now, we're going to start and um, I think what I'll do is, because there's a lot of just confetti on here, there's not any real major color in this block. So I'm just going to pick the U, which is in the top left corner, and we'll start there. So 3051 is the color that I need. And I'm actually using my pen today um, rather than um, tweezers, so hopefully it won't get too blurry for you guys while I'm putting my hand right in there. Um, uh, the pen that I'm using is a pen that I got from Miss Creations by Danny. Um, and I love it. It's shorter, it's fatter. Um, oh yeah, I'm looking at my camera and all you see is my pen. So maybe I won't use it. I'll switch to my tweezers and then that way you guys can see um, better what I'm doing. Just takes me longer with the tweezers with round drills. Um, because sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to pick them up. So I just placed that one and then I'm going to go down three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then over two, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then that goes there and then this one goes here and we've got one more two down from this one here oh and one more over there so we've got one more two three and up one right there so with this one, I don't talk that much because I am um, following a following a pattern, which I have to count. It's kind of like counted cross stitch. Um, if you're not familiar with counted cross stitch, um, there's no picture on the canvas, so you have to count where your stitches are. So. Um, we're going to go over to number six, which is 797 color right here. It's a bright blue color. And with these, um, uh, you'll see in the links below, um, I did buy drills, not all of them. Um, some of these are from my stash. Some of them were bought um, from Art Dot. the canvases I got um, from Amazon as well so um, the links for all of these uh, where I got drills where I got canvases all of that will be in the description so if you're interested you can go ahead and look that up and check it out because I know that you know especially with art dot they will have sales coming up probably pretty soon 
Um, I don't know if their drills will be on sale, but you can keep an eye out for them. They are um, acrylic drills, not resin. But honestly, that's fine for me. These these look great, so I'm not real, real worried about it at all. Let's do N, which is 3848. It looks like I only have like three of those here. So we'll do one, two, and where's the third one? Third one's down here, four. Right there, so we did. And you can see in the bottom, left hand corner of the screen if you're interested when I mark them off so that I don't lose my space and I know exactly you know hopefully exactly where I'm going I have made mistakes I'm not gonna lie but um you know that that's what happens sometimes when when you're doing this and your your picture's not on your canvas you know uh you do wind up making mistakes so you have to be patient with doing something like this. Um, now I'm not gonna, uh, to be honest with you, I'm not gonna be, you know, super crazy about doing these uh, cross stitch conversions all the time, um, but every once in a while, um, it's nice to do it. There's some pictures, I've said this previously, one of the reasons that I wanted to do this was um, there's some pictures that I would like to have that um, in genres that I would like that you really can't find diamond paintings for. So um, I wanted to kind of practice doing this kind of stuff so that I could um, do pictures that I, I would like, you know, that I can't get anywhere else. So that's why I'm doing this. But it's not going to be a regular thing. Um, it might not even be, you know, regular on the channel, but I do know that most people who do cross stitch conversions into diamond paintings don't do rounds. I think Joan Diamond Paints did one, um, but I, I think she's the only one that's done a round. Um, most people just do them in squares. And honestly, um, the next picture I do will probably be squares, um, depending on the picture. I just felt like this one here would convert well um, using rounds because, like I said in the beginning, um, the picture it just looks kind of faded rather than um, rather than being terrible to see that background. You know what I mean? So. Um, I thought that this picture would be nice. It reminds me of the old um, uh, OP style clothing. If you guys are um, my age, then you might remember OP clothing back in the 80s was like a really big deal. And some of the t-shirts that they would come out, the surfer shirts that they would come out with, um, had a natural... Um, or manufactured whatever had a fade to them so that they looked like super vintage super old and um, so that's what I kind of feel like this uh, picture looks like to me it kind of looks that way um, looking for this color here right Fine. Yep. so yeah so this kind of has that feel and you guys know I love like beachy um, surfer kind of styles so um for me i really like this like the more i'm getting it done um the more i feel like uh this might be one that goes on my wall just because it's it's just really cool i like it i think it's turning out really really nice so i'm super excited um to see this full completion and maybe it's just me. Maybe you guys, you know, don't like it. And that's, you know, quite honestly, that's all right. If this isn't your thing, 
Um, that's that's quite all right. I appreciate you very, very much. Believe me, I appreciate you coming by and checking it out. But, you know, if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. There's no 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 harm, no foul on that one. So, um, well, I just realized that I'm like super hungry. <laughs> Again, I'm recording this before work and I'm just like, mm, I'm really, really hungry. So I'll have to get something to eat when I'm done with this. So let's do the letter F. Um, this has a lot of very similar colors. Um, so what might look like when I zoom back out, what might look like a color block section, it's not. Um, there is a lot of confetti on this one and I did it on purpose. I wanted it to be more colors, um, specifically doing around and, um, having the white background, I wanted to be able to have more diverse. I didn't want a lot of color blocking, if that makes sense, because I thought that it would blend better um, with, the, with the white background if there was more confetti, so to speak. All right, so I did that. I do have my window open, so if you hear noises in the background, um, it's just people outside. It is Sunday, so um, you know, people are out there doing whatever Sunday stuff they do. <laughs> my husband um, already left for work, so he he left about an hour ago. Um, so I'm just chilling here recording this video with you guys, spending some time um, and having a little bit of a, a relaxing time before work, which kind of like is good, but not good at the same time. It's good because um, I need it because I get super anxiety going to work. Um, just work in general. I thought it was my old job, but it's this job too. Um, I get like physically sick. I feel like I'm going to throw up and stuff, and um, so I really have to mentally prepare to go to work. So um, having the time now to where I am able to do this before work is helping me out, but it's still, it's still bad. You know, I, I like my entire um, demeanor changes. Like, I feel like um, I'm not even the same person when I go to work. Um, it just, it's really, really bad for me. Did I get that Y and I, or no? Because I did Y, but I'm, I totally missed this one. So let me go back to the Y so that I don't forget about it and just get this one Y set up in here this one right there yeah so I'm not I don't know what I'm gonna do um, I, I need to I still need to work um, my husband doesn't make enough money for me not to work um, but I guess you know that just kind of makes me say okay well what else can I do for this channel in order to um, eventually get monetized now I'm not worried about I'm not worried about um, how long it takes you know that it takes time to build a YouTube channel and I've been doing this for a little over a year so um, it's okay that it takes time um, but you know, I want to. I want to be able to eventually get monetized on this, so that I can um, 
do this full time. That's what I that's what I want to do is I want to do this full time. And um, in order, you know, obviously to do it full time, I have to make money off of it, you know, that kind of thing, or at least some sort of some 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 sort of money off of it. And, um, you know, so I'm trying to think of different things that I'm going to do um, for the channel. I have some ideas, some things that I really like that I think other people would enjoy. And it is a trial and error, to be quite honest with you, on what you're what you do and what you don't do um, for the channel, whatever channel that you have. Um, but. I also feel like I need to do stuff that I enjoy um, because I don't want to give you guys stuff that I'm not enthusiastic about. Um, to me, is just fake, and then it's just you're you're just doing it for money, and that's not why I wanted to do this channel. That's why I say, you know, yeah, I want to get monetized, but no, do I want to do it by being fake? No, I don't. I want to do it the way that is um, good for me because then it shows you guys um, my enjoyment. You know what I mean? Like you guys can tell I, I am, I'm very, um, thick, I guess you could say, I guess is the right word. Um, you know, people's emotions really affect me. So, um, if you, if I'm not having a good day or something like that, you guys can tell. I know you guys can because I can tell. And um, if if I'm giving content that I'm not excited about or that's not make that doesn't make me happy, it's not going to feel good for you guys. And it's like, well, you know, I can't expect you to watch if if it's not fun for me. I see a lot of YouTubers. Um, I don't. I I don't watch as many as I used to. Um, I stick to certain channels um, because of that same reason. Like I see people who change up their um, their channels for um, because they they. Sorry, I'm trying to find a color here. I see people who change up their co their content because they want to um, keep making money. And I get it to some level. You know, I get it. You have to move with the times. But then I see them doing stuff that they're really not happy about. There's one channel that I watch a lot, and I really love the channel. And I'm not going to say what it is. It's not even craft-related. Um, so there's no, no need for me to mention... Um, the channel by name or anything like that but um i watch it um i've been watching the channel for years now and i'm not going to stop watching it uh because that person changed their content but i can tell um and this person has actually even said on their on their uh, pages or on their videos that this isn't always something that they like to do. The content that they're creating at this time isn't something that they really thought that they would do, isn't something that, you know, really pleases them most times. And I just feel like, well, that's ridiculous. I don't want, I still watch them. Like I said, because I want to support people um, and I'm not going to stop watching somebody just because they are going through a rough patch or whatever, you know what I mean, content wise. But I just feel like if you don't like doing it, then why do it? You know, I, I can get that you like doing YouTube and um, want to continue doing YouTube. And I can get that you have um, families to feed and you need to make a certain amount of money. Um, I get all of that. 
but I also feel like when you're going through transitional phases like that with your channel, you should be more willing, I don't know, at a certain dollar amount, because this, this person's channel is not a new channel, um, and this person does uh, has been making a living off of YouTube for many years and is able is not stupid in a sense of I'm sure has savings has investments has all kinds of stuff and so I feel like at that point you should be less willing to compromise what you like to do but then again mm, you need to stay relevant. So it's like a double-edged sword, if that makes any sense to you guys whatsoever. It, it really is like a double-edged sword because you wanna do what you love, but you are beholden to what people will consume, right? So um, I just feel like um, it, it can get really difficult at times. That's why I say, you know, I'm not going to watch, stop watching that channel or anything like that. Um, I will support, I will support that person, continue to support that person because I've grown to like that person's personality and, you know, no matter what they do, uh, you know, it's the same thing with some actors. There's some, there's some actors that I don't care what kind of movie they're in. I'll watch it just because I like them. You know what I mean? Like Dolph Lundgren's one of them. Like he's an actor that I absolutely adore, and I don't care what cheesy movie he's in, I'm gonna watch it because I want to support him. You know, not that he's, you know, hurting for money or anything, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. So going back, let's spin this back down, back around to me for a minute. Um, I'm okay with. Uh, taking the time to build up my channel and getting monetized and stuff like that because um, I want to do what feels right to me. And I truly believe that um, if you do what you love, um, other people will respect that and enjoy it with you. Um, so, you know, I, I feel like, I feel like we're going, this channel is in a good space and I feel like that no matter what, we'll get there at some point. I'm okay with that. Um, we will definitely, definitely get there at some point. Now, do I wish it was, you know, sooner than later? Well, yeah, I'm human. <laughs> you know, I mean, I try to be super, super truthful with you guys. I, you know, and I'm not one to kind of like bite my tongue and hold or hold my tongue, I should say. Um, I, I speak real and it does get me into a lot of trouble sometimes, but I'm not, I'm not here to, you know, change who I am, so to speak. So... Um, I will always be truthful with, with you guys and, um, you know, I hope that, I hope that you guys see that. I hope you can see that I'm not, not going to just do something just to do it. Uh, you know, same thing with like PR packages and stuff like that and unboxings. I know that, um, if I did unboxings all the time, um, my channel would fly through the roof and I would be monetized a lot sooner than later. Um, but I don't, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to just be an unboxing channel. Um, I want a, to be a full experience diamond painting channel. And I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, I, I feel like um, that's more important to me than um, anything else because, 
you know, there's tons of channels out there that do unboxings and um, the the websites um, that you get diamond paintings from, like the big sites, they will send you emails all the time for all their new stuff. Um, they definitely do not uh, shy away from marketing. So um, I feel like uh, it's okay if I'm not one of those channels. Um, so, you know, I want to I want to incorporate everything in my channel. And more so, the process is what I want to show more than anything. The process and the finish is what I want to show more than anything. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, there are different things that... There's different things that I do that are different. Um, and I might hold things off. Um, kind of with some with some videos I might hold um, like finishes off or something like that um, to make two videos out of it rather than one but um, I do that for a purpose I have I have a reason behind it in my head of why I'm doing it so I know I'm just babbling 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 <laughs> and because I babbled we do. We did do 31 minutes of um, recording, or 32, but once I edit this, it'll be a little bit shorter. Um, but we finished. We finished this little block, and I'll stop it here. Um, and let me go ahead and zoom out so that you guys can see this again, where we're at. So um, compared to that picture in the right, bottom right, you can see how much we've got and you can also see what that, what that looks like, um, you know, compared to the picture. And I think the colors are great. Um, again, you, because it is a round drill on a blank canvas, you do see that background, but I'm okay with it. I like the washed out look. It reminds me of a vintage poster or a vintage t-shirt and I really really am enjoying that. I'm very excited to see how this is going to finish up and it might be it might take some time to finish this up. Um, I know that I bombarded you guys with videos of this at the start and I kind of like went um, kind of pulled back from that and it's more not because of um, anything other than um, I'm going to run out of that one color and so I'm trying to do some other diamond paintings to figure out if I'm going to get any of that color um, to finish it up or am I going to have to buy some more so I think I have one painting that has that color in it so I might be good on that if I can get that one done but so we finished that block as you can see here we finished this block right here looks beautiful and don't worry about the doorbell that's my cat Charlie he can wait um, Izzy's actually sleeping on the floor um, so we did that um, we don't have that much more I mean well we've got like what half the painting left to go I mean that's what we've got so a little bit more than half probably, but not much more. Um, we're getting there. I think it looks beautiful. I can't wait until it's done. I can't. I, I probably am gonna wind up framing it. I think it. I think it looks fantastic. So let me know what you guys think down below. Um, leave a comment. Um, if you know, if you do leave a comment, you know, bear with me. Give me about a week to answer them back and then sometimes when you guys if I reply to you and then you reply to me again sometimes I don't see that right away so I apologize um, I try and go back and look at all of them um, when I can but sometimes I forget so I apologize if you if I've replied to you and then you replied back to me and it took me a while to get back to you I apologize but with new comments um, give me a Give me roughly about a week and um, I'll get back to you. Um, so, you know, leave a comment. Like I said, uh, hit the like button. 
Um, if you are subscribed, if you are subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. Um, hit that bell notification button and it'll give you a, a notification when my videos go live. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, it really does help out the channel. It helps build this community. Um, let me know what you like, what you don't like, and um, I'll see what I can do. But again, like I said, um, I don't want to be fake for you guys. I want to be real. And this channel, I started it because I, I wanted to share my my love of this and cross stitch eventually. But um, yeah, so thank you very much. And I got guys, I will see you in the next one. All right. Have a good night. Bye.